एवरीवन आई प्रेजेंटेड अ टॉक इन फ्लटर कॉन्फ इंडिया एंड जी डी जी बड़ोदा दिस ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू द टॉक वॉज रिगार्डिंग वन ऑफ द इम्प्लीसिट एनिमेटेड विजिट एनिमेटेड पोजिशन वन ऑफ द मेनी यूज केसेज दैट आई शो केस इन द टॉक वॉज अ डिजिटल क्लॉक सो टूडे आई विल टीच यू हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट एन एनिमेटेड डिजिटल क्लॉक यूजिंग एनिमेटेड पोजिशन विजिट दिस वीडियो इज डिवाइडेड इन टू एट सेक्शंस वर्बली वी विल फर्स्ट क्रिएट द एटम विजिट देन कंबाइन दीज एटम्स टू फॉर्म अ सिंगल डिजिट वंस यू हैव अ सिंगल डिजिट से जीरो देन वी विल क्रिएट वन डिजिट विद दीज एटम्स देन वी विल सी हाउ वन डिजिट ट्रांजेक्शन्स टू अदर डिजिट एंड देन वी विल क्विकली क्रिएट ऑल द रिमेनिंग डिजिट्स देन वी विल प्लेस सिक्स सच डिजिट्स इन अ डिजिटल क्लॉक वे Once you have a static clock ready we will then update the digits based on the current time lastly i will show you how by changing the atom widget you can achieve n number of different looking clocks so let's get started first is creating atom so what is atom here atom as per oxford dictionary means the smallest particle in this tutorial consider this atom to be a square sized box or a dot that will combine with other atoms to form one digit so create a widget named box it's a sized box that is a square of some size it has a colored box as child with white color because we will set the scaffold background color as black you can make it configurable i will come back to the box size in a moment but first let's wrap this box in a animated position widget since we will use stack we need to place these animated position widgets in such a way that they form a particular digit so first create a widget named ab if you are familiar with my last video of creating india flag with dots then you know about how i used animated position dot from rect to place a widget in a stack here as well instead of specifying left right top and other attribute since the width and remain same for all the atoms i can use center to create rectangle i will take duration of moving atoms to 400 milliseconds with linear to ease out curve Now let's place this box somewhere on the screen. Create a clock screen widget and place a digit widget in it. This digit will be the combination of atoms or AB widgets. So create a digit widget and use stack to position AB widget. In the stack, use AB widget at zero zero position. Let's run the app by importing required files. You will notice an error related to data mining size of the widget. so we will wrap our stack with sized box of width and height equal to digit size i will come back to this in some time now when you start the app you see a box near the left edge of the screen at the center let's see what are the sizes the digit size is 40 and box size is derived from it with this diagram i can explain what i consider as the digit size and box size so let's change digit size to 200 and rerun the app do you really feel that this is 200 in size no it's just half of that but why because we are using reg dot from center so the 00 center that we gave is the left edge of the screen so half of your widget is not visible let's add half of the box size to x and y coordinate to the center in the ab widget this will normalize out the offset that we provided and with this change you see the full box now creating a digit out of these atoms now that we are ready with a box we can place many such boxes to create a digit how do we know where to start and where to place the first box and more boxes after that well i found an easy way to do this select a google font that is easy to break like press start 2p text theme now in the digit widget type 0 with display small this is roughly calculated to 40 height of the widget that's why i have 40 as the digit size luckily the width of the text is 40 so we can use sized box dot square because width and height are same now how do i determine single box size now that's tricky until you start placing boxes at required place to create zero so by creating top line of zero I was able to come to some box size that is digit size by 11 into 1.6 this is not exactly equal but approximately equal let's start placing the boxes to form digit 0 create a getter boxes 0 and then return list of ab widgets from this 
Use this getter in the stack by spread operator. Since you want to specify whether boxes are placed at correct place or not, you can change either text color or box color to something that easily differentiates the text and the digit that you are creating. We will start from top in the left to right direction and place the boxes. Once top line is done, we will move to bottom line. We will follow same for every digit that we create. The order is important because when these offsets change for other digit, they will be mapped to their counterpart in the order of their creation in the tree. It's completely mathematical, so I need not explain here how I am placing these boxes. You can find the code on GitHub. And I will speed up this video a bit. I will uncomment the AB widgets for zero digit. Now, once we have zero digit, let's create the one digit. For digit one, we will create boxes one getter and place AB widgets to form digit one. I will again speed up and just show you how I have created these boxes. Now we will transition from digit zero to digit one. Let's use stack where we will use boxes zero if number is zero or boxes one if number is one. We will be creating a field now for number. Let's run the app by passing zero as number. When we change number to one, we can see the transition and that's a trick for transition. I will reduce the duration of animated box so that you can see the transition clearly. Now let's create more digits and place in digital clock way. Rest is pretty simple actually. I will quickly add more digits by creating similar getters. I'm fast forwarding all the digits that I created from two to nine. Now we want a digital clock to show hours, minutes and seconds. So let's place six digits in a row with a const spacing. I'm just using some sized boxes for spacing, but you can optimize it by wrapping digit with padding. So now we have six zeros. Great. Now let, now it's a time to update the clock with real time. We need to put real time instead of these values. So let's make clock widget as a stateful widget and create a timer variable. Create six variables to hold hours, minutes and seconds. Also declare a date format. Now in the init state function, define the timer. Create a periodic timer that makes the callback run every one second. In this callback, you get the current date time instance. Format it, use a split. Using split, you can get the hours, minutes and seconds in two digits. For each of them, you will have two lettered string. So. Take the first and last characters and assign them to R1 and R2 respectively. You have to repeat this for minutes and seconds. Now back to the row of digits. Pass in these numbers. First will be R1, then R2, then minute 1, then minute 2, and then second 1, then second 2. Let's restart the app and you will see the digital clock. Wow, this is awesome. Now I will show you how by small tweaks to the box widget, you can get different results. Instead of sized box dot square, use a column and place a dot as first widget and a square as the second widget. Now let's run and see the changes. So this is one variant. Let's add one more circle below the second element for the last variant. You can even change the opacity of the circle, uh, which was the first widget and keep it very minimal that only line is visible. And that's nice. So that is it for this video. I hope you liked it and will share it in the community. If you are new to this video, then subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification. See you in the next video and thanks for watching.